The gas prices in Minnesota are about 40 cents higher tonight than just one month ago. Counting your pennies may not help much these days, but what about an amount even smaller? Viewers like Beth from Chanhassen and wanted to know, why do gas prices always end in nine-tenths of a cent? That's a good question for WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell. Have you ever noticed gas prices are always listed with that nine-tenths of a cent after it? As far as I remember growing up, I think I've always seen it. Whether you've noticed it. I see it all the time, but I don't pay attention to it, yeah. Or not. I've never even really noticed that until I looked at it just now. Gas prices always seem to end in nine-tenths of a cent. That nine-tenths, I don't know why that's in there. It's like how much more money do they want to take, you know? Fractional prices first appeared in the early 1900s as states and the federal government implemented gas taxes to help build and maintain highways. Back in the 1930s when gas was just 10 cents a gallon, adding a full penny would have seemed like a huge increase of 10 percent. So they went with less than a cent. Wow, good times. <laughs> It'll never be like that again. Penny lane. Starting mid-century, it became the norm for gas stations to end prices in nine-tenths of a cent. And it's been that way ever since. How much does a penny mean to you? Not much. Don't what like about nine-tenths of a penny? Even less. <laughs> that means it's a full penny. <laughs> nine-tenths of a cent is really meaningless in today's economy. Why continue doing it? Now every station engages in it. So if a station were to suddenly stop, they're going to look more expensive and people aren't going to fill up there as often. Gas Buddies Patrick DeHaan says nowadays it's all about competitive pricing and marketing. It's a psychological level. That is, you're more likely to pull into a station at 379.9 than you would be to fill up at 380. Would it deter you if it was $4 versus 399 and 9 tenths? Oh, I think so. Even though it's not that much closer to $3, it seems like it's closer. Totals are always rounded, so you don't see tenths of a cent on your credit card bill. Nobody really wins. Consumers don't always win. Gas stations don't always win, and that's why it's kind of held consistently. Perhaps the only constant... That's been a little bit of a roller coaster. ...on the price board. Every penny counts. It does. It really does. In Bloomington, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. Gas Buddy says our prices are expected to come back down ahead of Labor Day weekend.